The Columbia Board of Education approved phase one of moving some elementary school boundaries. ABC 17's Connor Hirsch has been sitting in on that meeting tonight and joined us live at the administrative building. And Connor, the board unanimously voted to approve this phase, which will move about 100 students. And Deb Lucas, the meeting just wrapped up within the past 10 minutes. And like you said, that the first phase was approved tonight, moving those 100 students from Parkade Elementary to Alpha Heart to relieve some overcrowding. Now, a real estate agent and a CPS parent that I spoke with told me that this could make some big impacts on the real estate market in the future. Sometimes moving these lines a little bit on a map doesn't seem like a big deal, but it can have significant impacts on families and force them to make really tough decisions. Tonight, the board discussed the first phase of redistricting, which hopes to alleviate overcrowding at Parkade Elementary by moving students to Alpha Heart Lewis, then potentially more coming up in June. We're kind of at that point. We have to give our community the amount of time to react and know where they're going. Chris Newman, a real estate agent and CPS parent himself, said many parents want their students to stay in the same school for teachers, friends, and ease of commute. And so, you know, a lot of times parents are willing to sell their house and buy a house literally across the road, sometimes just to stay in the district. The changes could also impact the price of housing in Columbia. Newman said the continued lack of housing in the Columbia market paired with more demand could spike prices even higher. The supply of homes right now is at an all-time low. As they change these boundaries, in a lot of cases, even if people want to move, there might not be any place for them to move. He personally is watching this closely for his own family. One of the scenarios, our neighborhood is literally going to be split in half to where my sixth grader's best friend would go to a different school. It's tough to kind of look at that and go, man, he lives literally 50 yards away. The board was also presented with two plans for the next phases. One that would move 26% of the K through five students to different schools, while the other plan would move 11% of those students to different schools. Now that vote is expected at the next board meeting on June 14th. Reporting live in Columbia, Connor Hirsch, ABC 17 News. Okay, Connor, thank you. The board also denied a motion to allow parents and guardians to record meetings on a student's individual education plan. There was also a long discussion, which we live streamed on our website, and you can watch it back there at abc17news.com.